Dual Review is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Dawn of the Dead, 2004 style. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Welcome to Friday the uh, 17th of February. We're doing Dawn of the Dead, apparently 2004 style. Yeah. Uh, Zack Schneider, it's his directorial debut. And uh, it's really only a remake in the loosest sense. Um, yeah, the first one, he didn't want to touch it. He didn't want to, you know, ruin the first one. The first one is really good if you want to see yes. it. It's much campier, I guess, just because the, the effects are, you know. Outdated. Like, the thing and stuff. The uh, thing was awesome. Yeah, but it still has like that stop motion the stuff. The thing so. was awesome. So it's definitely dated a little bit. The thing was awesome. But uh, Dawn of the Dead 2004, um, you know, we have Ving Rhames in there, which I really enjoyed his performance. Um, right. Anyway, um, it's it's kind of, uh, what is what is that, what's the what's the video game where you're in the mall? Oh, um, Dead Rising. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> essentially, essentially, before the populariz popularization of people being stuck in the mall with the zombies, there were si people simply stuck in a mall, and the zombies are outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and the zombies do make it in at some point. Right. Unfortunately, they don't have all the fun little, you know, weapons and stuff that you make in Dead Rising, but uh, it's the same kind of premise. They're stuck in a mall. Right. Uh, there's a bunch of zombies around. Um, there's somebody else on the other side of the mall. This is why I like this so much. I keep remembering... This dynamic of having that one guy, he, he owns a gun store. Oh, yeah, yeah, the he's, ammunition he's shop. He's way over, and he's alone, and he's, you know, starving because he doesn't have any food, but he has all this ammo. And so that, that it's like, there's kind of, like, a huge weapons cache, but there's so many zombies in between, and there's a guy who needs help. And so, like, what do you do? How do you do it? Um, there's other people that show up in this, in this um, uh, truck, and they've got, you know, a couple of infected people with them. Right. It's just, it's... It's a really fun take, and it's kind of the classic culmination to me. Everything I want in a zombie movie, everything I loved in that one movie, and that's why I remember this movie the most. And it was a joy to buy it on Blu-ray for like seven dollars. I can't believe it's so cheap. But um, Zack Schneider, of course, went on to do. You know, we did the Watchmen uh, yep. review not too long ago. He just, you know, he did Sucker Punch and whatever, um, Three Hundred, and so so this is his first real film, and I can see why he got better parts yeah or better movies after this because this one was so solid yeah and it, it was yeah it's it's a lot of fun there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, moral dilemmas that happen in there yeah and there's um oh, also that fun like team assemble you know it's like there's the nurse and then there's the retired teacher guy who's kind of badass and then there's a an arrogant prick who owns a boat and you know it's like and then there's the guys who run them like the mall security that have too yeah. much power now right because they're like the only ones left and they're trying to run the show. And there's Ving Rhames who's a, a cop who gets stranded, but he has his brother, you know, in a fort that he's trying to get to. And right. Whatever. So uh, a lot of good characters. There's there's the the black guy who was a who was kind of a a, a bad yeah right thug. bad seed, but now he's he's married and, and he's is, trying to do right. And he's trying to do right because he's had a, has a daughter on the way. Yeah. And uh, then that whole dynamic, you know, that some something happens there. And uh, yeah, so we get people in the troop turning, and people in the troop turning on each other, even though they're not zombies. And you know, it's like uh, early on, um, we we understand as the audience, you know, it's the old zombie trope, but we understand through this movie that you know you get their bite or their blood, right. and you turn into a zombie yourself. And so there's a scene where. Like there's a there's a battle a scuffle around the fountain. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. How you know Ving Rhames cuts his arm and the blood comes out and then there's a zombie in the water. So you're left wondering if he got infected right. or not. And so it does a little bit of playing there. Um, there is yeah, there's some stuff that I haven't ever seen in a zombie movie. And then there's plenty of stuff that's kind of old hat, but yeah, is, um, well, uh... is in a fun way. This this movie has been referenced um, so many times. Um, a lot of the a lot of the horror. Um, what is it called? The uh, Treehouse of Horror that the Simpsons do. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, they they kind of uh, a lot of their uh, their episodes. Um, you know, some of them involve like the armored truck that they have in this movie. Or uh, yeah, that's really fun too. Where they have the chainsaw slap. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, but it's also you know it's referenced in other zombie films. It's referenced in video games. This movie has been referenced so many times. It's, it's ridiculous. And like propane tanks into a crowd. And right, right. Blowing that up. Yeah, and, yeah, and 
But I, again, it all comes down to what really makes this different. And I was almost, I was almost thinking that parts of this movie were actually from Walking Dead. That's where I, I was like, what is that? No, that's Dawn of the Dead. It's got to be Dawn. With that guy from the ammunition store and how they, they write they write messages on a whiteboard yeah, and yeah, yeah. You know, show each other because they've got binoculars but they're far enough they can't communicate. And then eventually they get him a walkie-talkie and but you know, sh- shit hits the fan and stuff ensues, whatever. But I just, for some reason, I really, that stands out to me. That's the standout portion of this is having somebody else out there and it's like, well, he's got stuff that can help me, right. and he needs help, obviously. Right. But it's really risky, and he could be infected, and you know, it's just like, what do you do? And uh, it just so happens, you know, they have like an underground tunnel system they have to go through to try to get there. And mm-hmm. It's 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 a really good, and there's really only like two major set pieces. Yeah. The mall, and then like the docks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a little bit of found footage stuff at the end, which is kind of cutesy, I guess. Yeah, I think okay. that was done in. I think that was and the then first... your favorite disturbed goes on. Oh yeah, you knew that. Get down with the sickness. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> uh, it, it's funny because when I watched this in the theater with some of my friends, um, I had to stop because they were all ready to leave, and I stopped because I was like, "Wait, I know this song, you know." And it's and it's that guy. What's his name? Cheese. Um, something cheese. What's his first name? And he's singing Big? like, uh, huh? <laughs> Big cheese? No, no, no. His name his name is something cheese, and uh, he does a lot of Muzak versions oh, of songs, and he was doing the Muzak version of. Down with the sickness, and I was like, "Wait, this is down with the sickness. What's going on here?" And it was just really great. It was fun. So, to me, this is the classic zombie yes. film. I mean, you know, Resident Evil has a, a dis- an interesting take. Like the first movie, I really enjoy. Yeah. And then I like some of the old school stuff, like the original Dawn of the Dead, and um, uh, what's the one where they're all in the house? Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, Night yeah. of the Living Dead. Yeah, that, the, where, the, where the one, it was like the first time that the, the black hero. The, the, the yeah, black yeah. Hero. Those movies yeah. are fun. And I don't know why I put it in quotes. <laughs> the black hero. And you get it, you get it, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is kind of a stereotypical trope now. I mean, you either have the the black as the token black who's going to die. Yes. Which we just watched um, The Edge, Stacy and I, The Edge, Anthony Hopkins and... Alec Baldwin, oh. and they fight a bear like in the wilderness. <laughs> There's a black guy, and you're like, "Oh, that guy's screwed. That guy's so screwed." <laughs> um, but so, yeah, the black guys unfortunately are always the token hero, the token victim. And in this one, he has they have two black guys. One of them's one, and one of them's yeah, the other. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not too t- too stereotypical. Not too yeah, no. not like the first one off the off the Enterprise or something. In Star Trek. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, the first red shirt. Yeah. Who are you? I don't know. I'm just helping. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. uh, so I definitely say, right, if you're interested at all in, in zombie films, this is a great one. Yes, it is. 2004. It's, yeah. yeah. Great acting all around. And it was, it was, was this one before, um, was it 28 Days Later? Yeah. Yeah, so this one, this one was before, this one, this one, I think, revitalized, actually, the whole zombie. I think so, uh, too. Uh, uh, Re, re, trend, yeah. Yeah, the trend. The trend of zombies. I think it brought it back. Yeah, which we're still still riding the wave today. I yeah. think it's it's in fact, ending, in fact there's still bit, there's still uh, zombie games coming out. Um, um Dead Rising two just came out not too long ago. Yeah, but there's there's another one, um and, and it's not mostly about zombies or, or in fact Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm looking forward to that one because that one's done by Naughty Dog, the same right, as you did. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uncharted, yeah, for sure. Take a look at that one. I think it's what like The it? Last of Us or something. The Last of Us, right. Something like that. Anyway, uh, so this is one of my personal favorite zombie movies, uh, uh, zombie properties of all time. This right. Dawn of the Dead was really yes, good. it is. It is a great film. It's got it's, it's got like all Schneider. that tension. It's got all that you know. Uh, it's, it, it just does everything right. And Bing Reams, what a cool motherfucker. <laughs> and Zack Schneider. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for listening to us. Tell us what you think. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, leave us comments. Yes, please. If you're going to Emerald City Comic Con, please let me know. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Zombie! Yes! Damn it. With my left hand, no less. Chakao! Chakao? Yeah, see, see, you can count on me if there's a zombie attack. Oh, Cle- okay. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> clearly. You know, sometimes... Watch, watch the Hunter the Reckoning episode. <laughs> Nick's twin gets eaten by zombies. You and I eat a head of lettuce. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> my twin, my poor twin died. Yeah, I remember the episode only because I was like, should I be a defender, a judge, or a martyr? I don't know. Oh, well, too late. (laughs) I'm pretty much done with him. Next week, we take a look at Marvel Noir.
kind of did like how that ended. So it's kind of like they'd struggle or whatever, and they're going to this island, and then they get there, and they're just as screwed. Karate chop! Although, that one guy that was bitten, you know, the teacher at the very end, mm -hmm. why didn't he sacrifice himself earlier? Because the other guy, he was kind of a dick that you kind of wanted to die. Yeah. He sacrificed himself, and this other guy was like, yeah, I'm bitten, but, you know, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go with you, but I didn't want to help. Sometimes I wish there was a zombie apocalypse, only because, you know, I think I'd do a lot better in the life if, if I was running for my life. <laughs> Is that weird to say? I think, I think as a society, we secretly wish that a huge catastrophe I would honestly, happen. I honestly think that's true, but I know that soon it would be like, holy oh shit, there's no McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, after a certain no amount of time. Prepare food for me. When's the new Damn game come? When's the new game coming out? I don't know. It's like, and I'm afraid to eat these things because I might turn into a zombie. <laughs> but it would be cool to like go to the mall and get whatever you want for a while. <laughs>